Hi, it's Jenny. I live in Dorset in the UK. I'm got Mark come up there. My hay roof is playing up badly, so my signs are gone. Mm. Yeah, been out in the garden cutting all the grass today. Well, front half of the garden. Got a massive garden. Um, I went down town last week. I actually ventured out again and went into a couple more different shops. So I'm getting better, trying to get this round the right way. Um, so I went into Cotton Moon, uh, my local knitting shop. They only sell King Cole in there. Um, I wish she did King Cole Rio, but she doesn't. <laughs> Start creeping. Um, but I bought some King Cole Drifter. That's what I got left. <laughs> I bought two balls. I need to get another one. Um, this was King Cole Drifter. Which one was this one? I can't remember. Um, let's have a look, see if I can remember what it was on here. No orders. I've had to order another one. Because um, I've nearly run out. It's King Cole Drifter. Alaska so yeah so that's what's left of two bulls and I did a top it's very similar to the other tops that I like doing but this was a pattern off of Ravelry well I've done all that I'm really liking next time I won't chain 15 on the armhole so I'll do 10 I'll go a bit looser so that side came out bigger than that side don't know how that happened but I did the same amount of chains but really like it it's really nice. Really love this yarn. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, I changed 90 around the top. I did 120, but that was a bit too big. So I did 90, and I like it. I got you up high again. Uh, but it's a nice um, pattern. Ooh, pardon me. I'm using. I've got to find it now. Just gone out of it. Pattern I'm using is. Um, Big Layla Verity Castledine on Ravelry and it's whoop, that one that's on Ravelry bring it down Ooh. there you go it's a bit shiny but it's really that I've had this top uh, pattern for ages um one of my friends on Facebook, um, she made it and I really liked it. But I hadn't done a top before, so I was a bit on making one. But I like it. I really like it. I'm going to be doing another one. Um, the yarn I had from eBay, I bought uh, over a week ago. Um, tied up today. Yee. King Cole Drifter. Um, this is... Arizona that's what I've done the other top with um, which I still haven't cardigan I still haven't put together yet I've got to be brave and try and do it it's nice but it's getting here yeah, trying to get around I just did hem up the top bit but I'm gonna unpick that hem up so up that's that one I've got to do that and if I got an extra ball left over with this one, I might do a two-tone different top in the same pattern with this one because I really, 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 really like it. It's very similar to the other top I do. Um, this one, you've got clusters. And on the other one, it's got cluster, treble, and then cluster. So it's very similar. Um, so, yeah, is it cluster? I'm looking at it. It's got a cluster, cluster, treble, then two clusters. It's, it's, it's just over there. I can just see, trying to see what it was, but I really like that. Really do like that. I was thoroughly enjoying that. I started that on Friday. I think it was Friday. Um, really, no, I started the show Friday. Can't remember. I started it at the weekend. Really like it. <coughs> Um, I've been doing a lot of Kamehima, put a lot of photos up on my Instagram. Um, the glue I got 
isn't sticking very well so I need to I've got some more glue on the way um, some F6000 so I can't put the watches on yet because they're strands fall out um, but I made some Kamihimo rainbow watches mum likes them and so do I I've not seen anyone else do these um, I started doing them ages ago and really 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 like them um, and there's another one I had a green watch there I found these watches when no um, watches clunk ones when clunk or chunky what you call them take them off and you can put different patterns on as well you can get the buttons and that but mum wears it a lot uh, she's got blue ones so I haven't shown her these yet because she'll want them <laughs> but what you do is you move that bit there the toggle take that off wrap it around your wrist and then you put it back on and it's like that but I really do like them I've made loads of these as presents for teachers when Sean Luke was at school I made a, quite a lot of them presents and that but I done a purple one I wonder who that one's for <laughs> me <laughs> I like purple but I done that one there's a diamond shape pattern uh, I've got a brown clock face on that one it's an old one I found I've got a load more coming off of AliExpress and I think they're in the UK so they might be here soon um, when money goes in I'll order a load more because I love doing these they're so different but that comes out stick that in there uh, no I did put glue in but he didn't want to stay so we've got some more glue coming so I've done those three and we've got this strap might be a double bracelet got some end caps I like doing them long that's a rainbow thread with a light grey thread it's really pretty really pretty I love Kumihima I oh, double go around what I do is I wrap it round and it goes round quite high up Goes around twice like that. I've got some end caps to up, so I'll put them on and do that. Uh, I have got, I saw another one on Pinterest I like the look of, and it was with one, two, 16 strands, I think, and it was a flat braid on a round disc. And I was watching it, it was in Spanish, but I got it. And it comes out like that on the, the TV's going to come on. Uh, turn it off. It's watching Master Chef. Um, come out like that on the front. Little love hearts. But I really like the back. It's so cool. It's like a sipper. I really like that. And I'm halfway through a round on that one i have put the photo on instagram of how i started it out um it's got four at the top and i think four at the bottom i can't remember how many at the side but i've been out in the garden it's very the sun's got to be but it was really good so I'll see if i've got it on here oh i'm gonna sneeze hay fever um hold me those I need one of them seam pins and put them on my nose <laughs> um, I took a photo of it with a screenshot uh, try and get it round that's how you lay it out you have four on each bit and, that, and it's really good it's really 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 like it if I remember I'll put the video link of where I got the pattern down below it's really nice one it's different it's different and that so I've really been enjoying the Kumihimo this week and I don't think I need all that thread though <laughs> we're a bit over top on the thread um is there anything else uh oh yeah I have posts today diamond painting Ooh, I need to start a lot of these diamond paintings I've got loads um 
This is, I can't see it very well on there, but it's a small one. It's a 30 by 40 um, Polar Express. If it comes out right. the beads or the drills and I have done this but I've got this one I have a crochet by Heather and I liked it and I found it on Aliexpress so that's that one I don't know if you can see it very well but it's a really nice one it's a bit crumpled up but I'll go Steve um, but I really like it I need to do a week of diamond painting I haven't done any on the other one, so I'm doing a lot of the uh, crochet and back into crochet again. I've got the crojo back and I'm doing the kumihima. I like that one, I really like that one. I was going to do a black cord through it, see what it would be like with the black cord as well. Because we've got some um, rainbow thread, might do, do some with that, that and a black cord. Mmm, be nice. Right. I've got, sorry, my nose is itching, my hay fever's playing up. Um, got some more of this on the way. <laughs> uh, I got some on eBay. I got a blue, oh, pardon me, blue one. And another one turning up, I can't remember what it's called. Um, they were quite cheap. There was a pack of three on each one, so I thought, mm, I'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop looking at eBay. Right, I'm going to go because I can feel a mighty massive steam session starting. And I need to take some um, hay weaver spray up again, I think. Uh, cut the grass. I did all, like I said, all out the front. I've got two two separate bits out the front. No, not too big. But that bit out the back is like a football pitch. So I did half of that. And I did all down the driveway. And on the other side of it, and there's still a huge amount to do over that way. <laughs> I'll get Sean Luke screaming again next time. He had a massive meltdown on Friday. Two and a half hours screaming session. Not fun. Not fun. So, yeah, that wasn't a good day at all. So, only a couple of weeks and he can go out. Shielding would be over and done with and he'd be happy. He'd be back out again. So... I might buy him some gloves because he touches everything. And I think I've said before he's got autism and he won't wash his hands. Uh, that's my main worry with him going out and says if he goes touching, he just won't wash his hands when he comes in. Um, so I've got some um, wipes in the bag, so I'll be scrubbing his hands. It's gone dark. Ooh. Clouds must be coming over. It suddenly went dark in here. <laughs> and that's so he's looking forward to going out. Going to Nanning Randad's, we're going to go in and see Dad and Mum. Um, so that'll be on the when they're allowed out. I think he's having a date with Granddad to go and get their hair cut because <laughs> their hair needs cutting yeah, badly, and so does Bud. Um, right, I'm gonna go, I'm waffling, and I will um, speak to you all on the next one. And I hope you're all staying safe and staying well. Um, bye.